So text input, changing all the parameters, or as they would in the radio stations called the prep file, with all the different settings that they need for finding the particular song they want. You have got a find function. That means you can find them in different ways, in different settings. You can ask for all the artist songs by Cliff Richard or whatever, and the genre could be the style of music, easy listening, rock, reggae, and so on. So even waltzes can all come up in one go with the time signature you put in. So that's very useful to have full control of every single file that you download and saved individually with uh, settings for transpose. As I play this music here, you can hear it playing now. Here it comes. And I can transpose it down. Look, they are minus one. I'll bring it back up one. And no change to the quality of the sound, of course. And you can also change the speed. You want it to go a little bit quicker? There we are. That's relative to the speed set on the file. Okay. And you can do that with an MP3 file, as I am doing it there. And if I now just stop that and find a file that has got a MIDI file on it, we can also do the same thing with that. So let's go back to my little MIDI file and find something to play. So I'm going to go to the end of my list where I put my different pieces in. And there's that song. And I'll just come out of that and put it into manual mode. Load it in again. There we are. And now when I play it, you can see it says transpose naught, you can take it down. So MIDI or MP3, instant transposition, instant tempo change, slow it down, speed it up. Particularly the MP3 files, you don't hear any distortion whatsoever on that function, which is really good. Take off melody tracks with that button, or take out a vocal track from an MP3 file. Okay, let's have a look at the vocal remover in action. Here's a piece by a singer that works with me, brilliant singer Natalie Chua, and she's singing Mama. Just a little excerpt of it. You'll hear a voice coming in now. And then if we press the melody button, that will switch the voice out. There's a quick access page you can look at and that will allow you to choose the type of voice that actually is singing from a low man's voice to a high soprano and mixed voices which I think works better on this particular mix. I can use the fader to bring back the voice as I want or take it right away. So that's how the vocal remover works and particularly interesting is the fact that you can select the different type of voice and adjust the level of removal as well. Of course very much of that depends on how much reverb there is and also whether the sound is directly in the middle or spread a little bit further apart as some people do, they thicken up the sound with chorus and so on. So that's a useful effect if you're desperate to have a backing track and you haven't got one handy. Uh, I always make my own backing tracks on MIDI files using the arranger function on a PA800 which uh, is virtually like the sound player of this machine so I'm being sport there. Okay, the foot pedal can control damper, control on the keyboard expression, page turns and lots more things. The lyrics, MIDI chords and track score can be read on your display as well as the independent video display and your lyrics can be in all kinds of languages. Of course the external connections let you connect up to three USB sticks. One which is a power driven one, it needs power. You can use an Apple iPod playlist, will go straight in and play. You can use the PC input to do bulk drops onto your media platform here and put it into the hard drive. I've got some things already loaded in, you see. I'm not actually using this as playlists because then I like to import them onto the main library here and then they will get an ID number as well. 
It's all very straightforward to use once you've got the hang of changing from one thing to the other, pressing the exit button to get back to the main street and using the quick access key in combination with something to find the settings. So for example, I want to go to the talk settings, there it is. If I want to go to the mic settings, it's taken me straight to it over here. That is a real boon and they are PC oriented controls in that gun paste facilities, copy it's all the same as a PC. You can be using that external PC keyboard to control those functions as well. MIDI in and out means that you can actually play out to another machine if you want. To. You've got a particular sound that you'd like to use externally on your PC. So you can do that and synchronize it with your sequencer that you're using as well. There's a carry bag which is quite flashy that comes with the unit. I uh, quite like that. And a uh, carry handle underneath I'm using to raise the unit up a little bit more vertical so I can see the display clearly when I'm playing on stage. So overall very robust unit, very nicely presented, terrific quality sounds, terrific synthesizer sounds inside it for the MIDI player and also the keyboard player using its external MIDI keyboard. Terrific control of the voice with its processor, TC Helicon processor. Uh, pads that give you something extra over everybody else as well to play which I love and overall a huge database of sounds on its 146 gig that lets you have a vast selection of the various MIDI and MP3 files available today with or without lyrics a real joy to use and lots of fun I'm going to be talking about the particular function a little bit more detail in the following videos